Hello internet and welcome, welcome back, or should I say welcome back to me because I haven't made a video in what feels like forever. I've been in Europe for two and a half weeks, I have been struggling uh, <laughs> with a lot of things, uh, but uh, yeah, I forced myself to make a video today by locking in a collaboration with a good mate of mine called Stefan Kuntz that I think you've seen. I'm here at Pablo Moresti's Coffee Roasters, which is a really great cafe in the middle of Sydney. And uh, we, I was gonna say we, but Stefan is going to draw a nice mural on uh, the window. And I'm gonna walk you through how he approaches his design and planning for the, uh, the lettering, because that's what he does, he's a lettering artist. And I'm gonna talk you through how I plan on shooting this as a time-lapse so we don't overshoot or undershoot. And uh, yeah, we'll show you some nice time-lapse as well. Should be good. We're done with the prep work. We're now picking up some tools. Stefan, wait, have I introduced you yet? No. Yes. Uh, oh, yes. You have? No, we're reshooting it. Uh, so my name is Stefan Kunz. I'm a lettering artist, and today we're gonna do a window lettering piece, and we gotta go to the right here. Oh, damn. Yeah. Gotta make sure it's chalk. Uh, we're back at the front. This is the window that we're gonna draw on, or that you're gonna draw on. Walk me through the process real quick from you know your planning and how you how do you approach something like this. So number one, I gotta get a sketch done, and I'll sketch it down in my notepad. I'll take a picture of this window here, and then start drawing on top of this um, on top of this window. And could you, could you do that with a with a Samsung? I could totally do that. Note nine with the hold on. Yeah, apparently they have a pen inside, right? Yeah, so, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, that's distraction. So then once we sketch it down, we know kind of where and how big it has to be. Um, I'll get the chalk pens and start sketching it from the outside. So that will be the first part. Then we'll go on in the inside and do the final drawing and it will be a reverse. So that's why we have to draw it out first on the outside. And we can uh, wipe away the outside as well. So this will be super convenient. But it will be really tough for you, Matt, to actually do the whole thing like time lapse because we're outside, we're inside, sometimes we have to go in and out and yeah, it will just be confusing. Plus, your challenge as well is how the heck will you do it with something that's like transparent, like a window, it's so hard with reflections, with everything going around. I don't know how you do it, so tell us how you do it. I'm honestly, I'm feeling so rusty vlogging because I haven't vlogged in ages. In the previous vlog I made, I didn't edit. I don't know why, I just didn't feel like it. Anyways, my approach for this is timing. You gotta figure out the timing. Uh, but let's talk about gear first. So I've got two 60 Mark IIs, I've got one 16 to 35 lens, which is a really wide one, and then I've got a 2470 and a 70 to 200 lens, which will give me a nice zoomed in, uh, zoomed in view. I've got some filters as well, so I can motion blur people walking past so they're less of a distraction and it looks a bit more fluid and smooth. And and then, yeah, the, the, the main challenge is the timing. How long is it gonna take? And then from that, you figure out how many photos you need and how long the clip's gonna be. But generally, I like to overshoot because you can always speed it up, but it's harder to slow time-lapse footage down and still have it look good. So it also helps working with an experienced artist like Stefan because they have done this quite a few times and they'll be able to tell you how long it'll take, kind of, approximately. Uh, but I've also worked with some pros and they said it would take four hours and then it took uh, 16 hours, so yeah, I mean, who knows? Stefan just did a little uh, mock-up draft of the window on the Note 9. Again, this is not an ad, although Samsung did give me this phone uh, as early access or whatever, and I love it, and it uh, gets me excited to maybe start drawing some stuff myself on photos that I create. I don't know, I suck at drawing. Teach me, Stefan, teach me your ways. Now, let's start uh, this project. So I've got one camera set up, and as you can see, is quite wide. I've got an ND filter on the front. The reason I shoot wide is so we can take a vertical crop as well as a uh, square one and a horizontal one. And now the first step is the outline. Is that right? That's right. We gotta sketch it out from the outside so that I know and can place everything first and then do the final piece on the inside so nobody can scratch it off from the outside or rain or whatever. I know some of you might be wondering whether I'm going to shoot as a time-lapse movie mode or if I'm gonna use the internal remote or if I'm going to use an external remote. The answer is external remote. I'm gonna shoot RAW and JPEG stills because I will shoot JPEG on the side. The RAWs will allow me to recover photos that were too bright or too dark and yeah, it takes a bit more editing but the quality is going to be better and we're all about the quality, right? 
and we are off. You can't see it, or yes you can. I've got a four second interval, shooting straight on, it's pretty wide. I am excited, and I'm sure it's the fun as well, and it's already looking good. I'm also going to shoot some B-roll or cinematics on the side, and a good way to do that is to shoot through things like this ladder. It's a good break to look at your work and to reevaluate what you did, make some life changes in your life. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it's not always that you're happy, and there's still a lot of stuff to do or to be done. And I'm kind of figuring out all how to get all the pieces together, where to redo something, and without having to start all over. But yeah, it's looking great. I'm more excited about seeing what Matt is doing, um, his work. Um, his camera has been doing better work than I have so far. So, let's finish this! So I've stepped away from my original plan, which was to shoot lots of different angles. I've only shot two angles, really. This camera has stayed in the exact position from the beginning, and it's going to stay there all the way to the end, so we can get really creative with the edit. If it's the exact same frame, you can cut, you know, with like flash frames to the last bit, and then like get it revealed and stuff. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty fun. I'm pretty excited about it. Is still running. The piece is it's done, right? Yeah. I absolutely love it. How do you feel? Uh, so there, there are a few things that I think don't work, You're but I'm not. I'm not gonna say what it is. Okay. Yeah, it's usually because you work so much on on it yourself, you kind of expect a certain result. Yeah. And. Like, it's, it's probably like you when you shoot a time lapse and you have to, like, you, you already see the, the whole sequence in your head. Yeah. But then when you look back at it, you're like, ah, oh, it didn't really happen the way I wanted to. And so that's kind of the feeling that I have. Like, from the sketch on, I had this idea in my head how it should look like. And yeah, it didn't quite work. But I think, I mean, it's great. It's so good. To me, it's perfect. To you, it could have been better, but I think every. Every creator has that, or every creative has that. Exactly, same. and the best part of it is, we can erase that and start over again. But right, let's we're, do it. But we're gonna let it be for a while. Yeah. And for Christmas, we're gonna do a new one. So. Oh, cool. Christmas time. Awesome. We can repeat this. Yeah. November. How bloody good. Turning off the camera. No. So funny. You you changed the um, the change. Yeah. Oh, you see the difference. <laughs> what? I changed memory cards, so, um, yeah. I think we're done. I don't know, because I haven't seen the sequence yet. But, uh, I haven't seen the full shot yet, but I think it's going to be great. I got some nice B-roll footage, I got a nice time lapse. I don't know where I'm going to put it in the edit, but I'm stuck. I got to spend a whole day with Yusufan, and I met a new friend, Josh. 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 I didn't put him in the video, but he was around shooting some pics. Had some great coffee, had some great food, and I think I'm going to come back here tomorrow and shoot some, uh, I don't know, slow motions and time lapses on my phone on the new Note 9, not net. <laughs>
Hello. post credit scene once again. Um, I'll make a video soon about what's been going on and why I've been so slow with a lot of things. Uh, but it doesn't fit this video. I just figured I'd give you guys a little update. Coming soon. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.